Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So as promised, this is the second battle uh, for the Manifest Weapons that's available in Update 2.1.500. And in it, we're going to be taking on Nagi for her Manifest Weapon. Now note that you can't use the AS version to fight the boss. You will have to um, have the, at least a 4.5, if not a 5 star, of OG Nagi in order to challenge this particular uh, Manifest battle. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Also, I do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So, like most Manifest Battles, it does have a four-turn rotation. Uh, it starts off with summoning two of those um, squid-like things, and the upper one is a little bit more dangerous. It does an AoE that not only drains MP, but also does damage. Now, the bottom one does a single target, and it does the same thing, which is damage plus MP loss. Also, Nagi on the first turn boosts the entire party. So, um, this is of course the very first battle, and these ones are relatively easy, so I'm not going to be using a full bar or anything like that, just to show you the move rotation. Now, notice that uh, Intertwine was used on turn 2, which is a single target uh, decrease slash resistance. Now, on the third turn, it also has a single target attack, and keep in mind, OG Nagi only mainly has single tar target attacks anyway, so um, you're not going to be facing a lot of AoEs here except from the minions in the back. Note that one of the uh, moves also does heal her 40,000 HP. Now, not sure if the level 10 version will have a bigger heal, but obviously in this case, 40,000 HP is not much damage um, when we can generate over 100,000 damage with um, a, uh, OG uh, Suzette with her manifest weapon. So, I guess when we do the level 10 battle, um, the idea is to at least kill off the squids and then do a large AF and wipe it out. Now, also keep in mind that uh, being that Nagi is an earth-based uh, enemy, uh, wind-type characters will have an increased resistance against earth-type attacks as well, um, probably does a little bit more damage. Keep in mind that Nagi is not weak to wind, but probably just vulnerable to wind, so no two times damage. And there you go, the Abyss Eater. Again, the name of the weapon is very suitable uh, to the actual character. Uh, very similar to, for example, Dark Heavenly Tears with Suzette or um, some of the other Manifest Weapon names. So th that's pretty cool at least. And there's another 50 stones and one gold uh, badge reward for finishing the first battle. Now again, keep in mind you will need to do 37 million XP gain. Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time.